Welcome back to Smoke Signals, everyone. I'm Matt Montgomery, along with head football coach and athletic director Wayne Coleman. Fighting Indians played at Hallsville last week at Bullard, and coach, this is just one of those games that uh, it's about execution. Um, so many opportunities missed because, you know, players have to catch, players have to tackle, and uh, they were in the right position a lot of times. They just it just didn't happen. Yeah, we didn't execute real well Friday night. Uh, Hallsville did a good job of uh, keeping the ball away from us, so we had limited opportunities. Uh, part of that is because of uh, untimely turnovers on our part. You went in at halftime tw up 23-20, to 20, but you come out in the third quarter and you had to kick off, and well, Hallsville just, this was what you feared, that they would just run it and run it, and you only had, I think, what, four offensive plays in the third quarter is all you had? Was that or maybe a little bit more than that, but right. just one possession? Yeah, we had three plays and a punt. That's right. That was four, yeah, yeah awesome. so uh, uh, they did a good job of running the ball, running the clock, uh, and then when they did kick off to us, we turned it over. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that's a killer in the third quarter. You don't have any chances to score. Yeah, and, and again, just, uh, you know, it just sometimes it's schemes. And, of course, uh, uh, Hallsville with that two-headed running attack, their quarterback, their tailback. Uh, and the, their quarterback got hurt, and you thought, well, maybe that would change the tone of the game when their quarterback got hurt at the end of the third quarter, but it did not. They just plugged the guy in at Wildcat, and they just did the same thing, just ran it, just ran it, ran it. Yeah, they basically play with two uh, – two running backs in the backfield in, in a one-back set. Well, I mean, when their quarterback's going to run the ball as much as he does, so it really doesn't matter who the guy catching the snap is. Uh, and, the, and the running back, uh, Driggers, does a good job uh, all over the field, and uh, uh, he was probably the biggest difference in the game. It has to be frustrating because, you know, you, you, you work all week and, and the kids get in position, and I know the kids are frustrated, the players are, uh, because they're, they're in position to make plays and then, uh, you get a drop, and you, you had several drops, five or six of them. But that's, those are fixable things. But here it is going into week nine now. You better get fixed for the next two weeks. Well, you don't, um, you don't give up on it, and you got to ask your kids to make plays. It's too late in the season to, to change your offense. Sure. Uh, you know, you are uh, what you've been practicing to be, and the same plays that we made against Pine Tree to win a big district game are, are plays that we – that we haven't made uh, in a couple of other games. So uh, we've got to continue to practice and, uh, and try to get better. Well, there were a lot of big plays in the ball game against Hallsville last week. Let's take a look at the highlights right now. Here's uh, Shoemaker the riding. Watch this move right here. Whoop, see ya. Braylon's really come on as a receiver. Uh, he's been a, a, a really a treat to coach this year. He's been done a good job for us. Good decision by Deshaun here. Yeah. <laughs> Change the direction. Eventually, he got it up in the hole there, and uh, that's been a good play for us this year uh, off the Wildcat. Coach, y'all work on this every day in practice. The strip. Look we, at Braylon just take it. We do, and uh, Braylon's probably the best one on the team as far as uh, ripping the ball out. And here's Tristan Shoemate on a fourth and one. 66 yards. Yeah, uh, good short yardage play there. They sold out on defense, brought the house, and uh, Tristan hit the crease. Hallsville, one of the few times they threw the football in the ball game, but here they're trying to go deep, and uh, Deshaun's right there to make a nice, nice breakup. Yeah, he really goes up, high points this, knocks the ball away. Nice job. And boy, just when you needed it, you're down a couple of scores, and Deshaun goes 59 here untouched. Yeah, our uh, Wildcat uh, package uh, worked really well the other night. Uh, Tristan basically ran the same play a second ago, and uh, uh, now Deshaun's running it. Coach, this game had so many memories of the Nacogdoches game where teams kept making big plays, big plays. Whoever's going to make the big play at the last would win the ball game. And once again, you just, you just just ran out of time and just didn't get that last big play. Yeah, you can only win the game in the fourth quarter. And uh, uh, we had our chances there in the fourth quarter. We didn't do it. Uh, you know, against Pine Tree, we had our chances in the fourth quarter. We did it. Uh, and uh, we've got to continue to, to harp on that, that that's when the plays have to be made. You got a Mount Pleasant team. You're going up there this week, and um, uh, they're they're a good football team, just like last week when we went into the Hallsville game. They're 0-4 in district, but they don't look like an 0-4 team. Mount Pleasant's very similar to a lot of great athletes. Yeah, Mount Pleasant just a couple weeks ago beat Hallsville, mm -hmm. so they can um, uh, they can put a very explosive offense on the field. They'll be hard to stop. They run the ball really well. Uh, uh, and you're, you're going to be impressed by the kids you see stroll out on the field from Mount Pleasant. They got some good looking athletes. So, what does Mount Pleasant do offensively? Uh, they want to uh, kind of run some Wildcat, and very similar to to, uh, to Hallsville on offense. You know, they want to run their quarterback a little bit. They got a good, talented 
running back that can go the distance. Um, the quarterback got a little gimped up last week, so we don't know, uh, you know if he's going to be running the ball or if they're going to uh, put a passer in back there. So that's making it a little more difficult to get ready for him. Yeah, when you're in week nine here, it is a lot of attrition, a lot of teams fighting injuries. And fortunately, Jacksonville, you guys have stayed relatively healthy. You've had some injuries. Of course, Aaron Richardson was out last week. Again, you got Deshaun back. But uh, it, it's it's been, for this time of year, it's, it's, uh, it's tough not to keep everybody healthy. It is, and uh, everybody's banged up. Uh, Hallsville lost their quarterback late in the game against us last week. Mount Pleasant's kid is, is banged up. Uh, it's next man up this time of year. What is Hallsville, excuse me, Mount Pleasant, what do they do defensively? Uh, so they're mixing it up on us now. Uh, they've been a 3-4 all year, and they switched to an even front uh, last week, so we've got to prepare for both of them. So what will be, what will be some of the things that, uh, that you'll try to do offensively to attack them? Now we've got to uh, look back at you know, what we've had success with uh, in, in the district games running the ball. And we really have run the ball pretty well. I mean, we're, we're getting our 150, 200 yards a game rushing. So we've got to keep doing that. And uh, with them running a couple different fronts, it makes it a little more uh, difficult on our kids, you know, preparing for them. Uh, but we've got a lot of game reps under, underneath this right now against the odd and the even, so our kids should be able to adapt. Really strange district right now where you kind of have the three teams, Marshall, Lindell, White House, that look like they're going to be the guys to get in. And this fourth spot is really still up for grabs. You guys are still in it mathematically. A lot of strange things have to happen. I mean, I'm not asking you to talk about all the scenarios because we spent 15 minutes doing that. Mm -hmm. But what I'm getting to is the attitude of your team and making sure they, they finish. Yeah, we had a great practice Monday. Uh, the kids are locked in, but we're very disappointed in the way we played last week. Uh, and that is that is more of a motivating factor for us right now than, than playoff scenarios or anything like yeah. that. The fact that we didn't play to the best of our ability last Friday night. Well, you've preached about playing yourself, mm -hmm. and that has happened in some games, and some, ga some games it hasn't. So Yeah, that, I mean, there's nights where the opponent is just so good that there's not much you can do about it, but last Friday night was not one of those, and we let ourselves down. Keys to the game to get the win against Mount Pleasant? Uh, just focus on ourselves, execute, raise our level of execution, do our assignments on defense, get, get our run fits corrected. Uh, we didn't have guys in the right place last Friday night, and when they were there, they didn't make the plays. So we gotta, we got to hold ourselves accountable. Jacksonville versus Mount Pleasant, the game will be played in Mount Pleasant. And we will be on the air on 94.3 Real Country starting at 645. For Head Coach Wayne Coleman, I'm Matt Montgomery. We'll see you next time right here on Smoke Signals.